Well, when you look at that, episode three, you know, that, you know what they say, third time's the charm. And you know, I was considering holding off this upload until I saw how you guys absolutely demolished the like button. How, did, how is that even possible? How? I don't know. It's not possible. I, I was gonna come back, but I just had to come back. I couldn't, I couldn't let the people down. Let's try and get this video to 800 likes. It's a high goal. It's a high goal, okay? Normally I only ask for 600, you know? I'm very, I'm very gracious host. But let's try and get up to 800. That would be fantastic. And I'll bring another one out in like a week or two weeks, which, knowing my upload schedule, it's a pretty big deal. Anyways, let's just get straight into it, okay? If you wanna watch part one or two, they're gonna be on the annotation on the screen, but I'm telling you, this video is also 100% crazy. In this episode, we have evidence of match fixing in high school leagues. We see the absolute worst conditions football has ever been played in, okay? It gets nasty, it gets grimy, it gets crazy. So, let's get into it. All right, so moving on into our second league game, we are playing against the only team that beat us in the league last year. In the okay. League, league champions. In the last year's league champions, so this was a very, very big deal for us. All right, so Johnny kicks off the ball. Have you ever seen it done better? It's no. never been done better than that. No. So pretty much like five minutes into this game, I think that's Crandall plays a ball through to Alistair. How does that go know. on the goal? Explain. I don't, I don't know. It, it was a pretty lucky goal. But yeah, what a way to start the game against presumably the the best team in our league. All right, so you know we were pretty hyped up. Here I get the ball. You know, I have to put in a clip of me doing something marginally decent. All right, Ooh. Ooh. I mean, nice. acceptable. I wonder what happened after that. Definitely didn't didn't play the ball and lose it. Nope. Definitely scored. Nope. Yeah. The camera just yeah. cut out. All right, so right here, you know, they're dribbling. We put in a tackle and the ref calls a foul. Doesn't seem like a foul. And you know, our coach, kind of an argumentative guy. You know, he, he he's a very passionate man, but the ref was not too happy, runs over to talk to him. We'll see how that affects us later in the game, okay? Just bear with us. And basically, off of that free kick, oh, oh my lord, what a save. That, that what is a save. Crazy save. But if that went in, oh my god, that would have been terrible, especially on that foul. Like, yeah, what even is that? that? You, there, I get all these comments, okay? Ba 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 ba. Of these British and European people. Americans, you're so soft. If you did that shit in England, your leg would get snapped. If you were wearing those Yeezy cleats in England, your leg would be smashed and you wouldn't be able to play for the rest of your life. And that that's just an example of kind of how soft the refs are in our league. But then there are like a few tackles that are terrible that don't get called as well. It's just so inconsistent. Very inconsistent. All right, so here, you know, there's a little bit of a scramble. He plays a through ball. The guy's wide open. One of the worst finishes I've seen. You know, the Lord was watching us, okay? The Lord was watching us. That is two things that should definitely be goals that we just got, you know, saved from, so. And ours shouldn't have been a goal either. Our, and ours wasn't even a goal. Like, I don't even know how that went in. All right, so here, you know, there's me. Beautiful physicality. Has it ever been done better? No, it hasn't. But <laughs> Alistair gets shot, you know. <laughs> he gets it's, shot. It's, he gets a shot. <laughs> oh, there he is. I thought you said he gets shot. <laughs> no, that that was from the other video. Scope. Fire when ready. All right, so here we get a free kick. <laughs> I think that was a well-worked team play goal. Yeah, it's a very tiki taka, Barcelona esque. Beautiful. Yeah. Goal of the season. Goal of the season. Look at that. He makes a he makes a near post run. The technique Think just it over to, like, the keeper. lift it beautifully. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> and yeah, so that was to make it 2-0 in like the first 20 minutes. So we were pretty hyped. We did not expect that to happen. Honestly, it could slash should be 2-0 to them. Yeah. Like it should be Definitely, to them. yeah. All right, guys. Now it is time for a little skill squad moment. Okay, look at that. Cheeky back heel. There's Max Kolowick slicing and dicing him. Plays the ball to me. Oh, no way he can do it. No way he's gonna beat these players. Oh. Foul! I'm, and I think that was a foul. I don't know. He's just, he went like this. Yeah, ah. that, I think that's foul too. But you know what, in England, that's not a foul. No, no. I'll tell you that. that. The only yeah, thing that's a foul in England, I mean, if a guy brings a knife on a field and stabs you, that's a foul. Maybe though. Ma but may maybe that's like a- It depends where he stabs you, honestly. Yeah, we're just joking. We're just joking, don't be mad at us, just relax. All right, so in this clip, Danny wins the ball off the goal kick, 
Alistair gets it. Touch. Bang. It was actually a decent shot. Of, out of all of our chances, that was the best one. Actually a pretty insane shot, and the keeper steps up to make a pretty good save. Funny story about this keeper, okay? Last season, right, I, I was trash talking him a lot because on the field, he was not, you know, he was not the nicest guy. Let's just say that. Basically, I didn't know this, but the kid's parents literally watched a video of me calling the guy an asshole and told my coach. What a story. Uh, but they, they weren't mad, they, they thought it was funny. So, but but when, when I originally heard that the, his parents were like, so we saw your YouTube video. I was like shitting my pants, bro, that shit was scary. But no, he was actually like a really nice guy when we were playing them the second time. So it was sort of funny. That, that was one of the more interesting experiences of when my YouTube and my real life collide. All right, so here the winger gets the ball, crosses it in. Oh, pretty scrappy goal. It's better than better our than goal. our goal. Yeah. All right. So here's where their winger just has to go on a mad one. Good touch. Gets another touch past our guy. Bang! And it hits the crossbar. If he scored that, bravo. But unfortunately, it's no goal, so we don't care. All right. So basically, like five minutes after their first goal, they put another cross into the box. Comes out off the post and in. So yeah, within five minutes, they equalize it to make it two-two. Pretty eventful first half, okay? We feel like we've been talking for like five hours and it hasn't even been the end of the first half yet. All right, so moving into the second half, number 27 decides to go on a bit of a mad one. I already said that. But yeah, he just decides to just obliterate our entire defense. Look at this touch, just look at this one touch. Oh my God. I'm embarrassed to call myself an American. In Europe, they wouldn't let that happen. No, never. His leg would be broken by now. <laughs> He would be sitting in the hospital, not, unable to walk. All right, so you know the ball falls out to the wing. It's me, the winger. Body faint of the year. Cross it in. Who's there? Who's there? Let's go! It's Johnny Zizou for his second goal of the season. And an assist. You know, this is just the natural chemistry. Ding! Three. Three, two. All right, so you know, their defense kicks the ball out. I get it in the middle of the field. Take a decent little touch, scoop turn, one more touch, crosses it. Oh, but honestly, that is one of my better runs of the season. I'm trying so much harder to not be narcissistic. I'm really trying. I'm just not good at it. So they get a throw in, you know, it's like the last minute of the game, not a big deal. We win the throw in. Win the throw in. Wait, what? 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 What is the call, sir? But yeah, the ref calls a penalty. Literally in the last minute of the game. For no reason. You, let's watch the foul again in slow motion. What's the foul? What foul? He doesn't even touch him. Yeah, he does touch him, but like... Hey. The other guy backs into him. That's the biggest bullshit call of the season. And it was in the last minute of the goddamn game when we were playing the league champs yeah. to win. And we were winning 3-2. We thought the season was over. We th literally thought the season was over. But you know what? Never put your heads down too quickly because he gets the penalty and just wait till you see what happens. No one sit! <laughs> oh my god. Way to be the hero. Way to, <laughs> way to be the hero, ref. That was so bullshit. I was so yeah, mad. That was and literally, so like, off the kickoff, he blows the whistle and the game's over. So stupid. But yeah, that was 3 3. Not a terrible result. But just the way that it happened, and not honestly, they probably deserved the result. They, we, they they play better than us. There, I said it. Sorry. The, just the way that that it happened, yeah, it's just not correct. Whatever. Let's get into the second game. This is one of the lower teams in our league, maybe like yeah. third to last. Yeah, they're not that good. But they're not bad. But they're not that good. All right. So the ball falls into the middle of the field. Danny plays an over the top through ball, and I don't even know how he managed to do that. Acrobatic karate kick. What is that? What's the keeper doing? That reminds me of Shaolin Soccer. You ever watch that movie? No. You never watch Shaolin Soccer? No. Oh, fuck you, bro. Such a good movie. I don't want Where they're like flying in the air and shit? No. Oh, it's so that. good. Alright, so there Max plays a cross in. There's Mark. Oi! And it's a very decent attempt. Alright, so here the ball falls to me. Right? Stop it. Meg! Meg! Oh, it was a Meg. It's, it's almost cool. I don't care what you want to believe. It's on film. 
Right, that's an A. Alright, so that's about it for the first half. 1-0. Pretty average. So the second half starts, making a run across the box. I'm running in, you know, kind of fuck up, but I still have the ball. Back heel, hoping it goes to someone. It does, goes to Danny, who slots it away. You know, one of my, one of my better assists and a pretty good finish from Danny. Oh, and here I forgot to actually commentate over this, um, but basically they scored. Yeah, just just want to let you know. Here is here's one of the more interesting clips. Okay, you know, just a bit of runs being made in the box. I don't know who fouled who there, to be honest. It looked like he threw down our guy. He did. He just like grabbed he just went him like that, and then he, he fell with him. With him yeah. But the ref, because they they really hate us, runs in to talk to his linesman, and after they confer for a little bit, he decides to give a penalty, which is just not allowed. The ball is not in play. The ball is not even in play in the box. Yeah. You're literally not allowed to give a penalty there. But luckily, as they're queuing up to take the shot, the linesman on the other side calls over the ref, because our coach was yelling at him, rightfully so, and, and actually explains to him that Hey ref, hey buddy, you, you can't do that buddy. <laughs> he walks away, he's like alright, and then they bring the ball back, give us a yellow, and it's no penalty. <laughs> that just sums up the refereeing in our league. <laughs> what even was that? So here, Mark plays in a pretty good free kick. You know, I don't know what's going on in the box. Crandall plays it across, and Alistair slots it away. It's funny because their, their defender literally just dove with his hands. He just went like, like the ball was rolling across. He went like that. All right, so here, Grant, the speed demon, plays a ball across the top of the box. They hit it out. Great touch by whoever that was, Hurwitz. Worse. And Danny, bang, bang. Incredible finish, and he's angry for, for no apparent reason. Whatever, pretty good goal. I had one of the better goals of the season, so. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed that. The rest of the goals are all gonna be rebounds from corners, so hope you hope you enjoyed the good goal while you got it. And basically, the guy just scores from a free kick from the middle of the field. <laughs> that is just absolute classic. But yeah, that made the game 4-2. We end the game with Grant skilling around on the wing, you know, and the ref <laughs> calls it as game, 4-2. Good result, three points, let's go. And as you can see in the huddle, there's Johnny wearing his track suit, um, but yeah, he was injured, so he didn't play in that game. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Because I think he would have done a great job. I would have scored five. He scored eight. Ten. Nine. Whoa. And now! Oh, look at that transition. <laughs> Insert storm sound effects. Ooh. It's time for the rainy day in Stoke. One of the worst conditions that we'll ever play in, okay? Literally, if you kick the ball against the wind in a goal kick, the ball will blow back over the goal. It, it was actually fucking insane. Th this is not from our game, but this is from the JV game that happened after. Look at this goal that was scored. <laughs> Unreal. How, how does that happen, okay? But basically the wind was just carrying the ball. It, it was like weird. It's like when you're playing GTA and you put on the cheat codes, like the gravity cheat codes, and everything's just flying all over the place. That's what this game felt like. But yeah, in the first couple minutes of the game, who is that? That's Billy. Billy. Billy plays a beautiful through ball. Alistair, boom! That was his weak foot. Chips the keeper, Good not really the chips the keeper. The keeper kind of hit it over himself. But, it's honestly a pretty good finish. Another volley. Another volley. Oh no, this, uh, this clip is actually phenomenal. Okay, Crandall gets the ball in the wing. Surely he's not gonna shoot from there. That's right. That's 40 yards out. Your Alistair is just, just bodies him. He's injured, he's out for the rest of the season. Crosses it in, and the keeper actually makes a pretty great save. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that, that was another pretty good chance. Oh, and yeah, I have to add, have another Grime MC as our ref. One line flows, yeah, I got some of those. And, we, and weirdly, we have two refs at this yeah, point. He's playing the li linesman and the center ref, and then there's another guy playing the linesman and the center ref. The, the other ref showed up at halftime. I, I don't know why people in the comments think that this is like United States national team. And yeah. like, like people think that this is the highest level of football. Didn't say soccer. Let me tell you, it's the lowest level. It is pretty much the opposite, okay? Don't, don't judge all of the United States based off of a small six team high school league. Here we see a family devastated. <laughs> 
devastated by the conditions. Their home wiped out by the torrential downpour. Look at this kid's <laughs> suffering, <laughs> suffering on the sideline. There's a there's a donate there's a GoFundMe page <laughs> in the description to help the support. Is that funny or yeah, is that pushing funny. it? That, no, that's not pushing it whatsoever. Okay, sorry. But yeah, they put a cross in the box of a free kick and get a touch beyond us into the back of the net to make it two one. All right, so here's me, you know, trying to play. Doesn't seem like a foul, but the ref calls a foul anyways. And basically when you get a free kick from like 40 yards out, you're not really expecting it to roll on the ground and go in the goal. Mm -hmm. That's definitely not what's about to happen. Psych. <laughs> How? How does that go in? I do want to add that it does look like the keeper purposely moved out of the way. <laughs> okay, I, I'm, not trying to be, I'm not trying to be rude. But it looked like he was doing the opposite of what a keeper is meant to do. Honestly, I don't blame the keeper for that at all. Because the, that was literally a, the wind scored that goal. I didn't even count it as Alistair's goal, I count it as the wind. He, you know, he's like, what the fuck? <laughs> he's looking at the ball like, what the fuck, man? But yeah, that made it 3-1. Here I get the ball, decide to end a man's oh life. And come on, go on, a pretty good night. A good night. You can't be doing it. And England, as we said, we know I could never do that in England. No, never. Because by now in England, I would just be, I would be, be in one of those, in one of those, like medical chairs with like a remote and yeah. sitting like that and like, and like with having leg to. Up. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. But yeah, that's how the first half ended. Pretty good. The linesman finally decides to show up. Just had to put that in there. <laughs> I just wanted to show this. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna put it in the intro, just because it's funny. Like, it's like, what what would lead a game to have a man crawling under a bush? I just thought that was funny. But here, final minutes of the game, Alistair gets a through ball, the wind does a good job to keep it from going to the keeper, and it goes in very slowly, okay? V very, uh, that's how I describe that goal. But it's a goal nevertheless. Alistair, shouts out to him, getting the only hat trick from any from any game. But yeah, I got a little bit too dark, decided to turn on the lights as it is the end of the show. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you drop a like. Um, do you want to say anything? No. You sure? You can say anything in the world. Nothing. You sure? Yep. Nothing? Nothing. Would you like to do the outro? No. Do the outro, please. Please, I feel like I talked way too much in this video. I, I talk way too much in all of these videos. Okay. And, I, and when I'm it's editing it, I notice that's an imbalance. It's, it's your channel. And I'm, I'm thinking, Johnny is such a wonderful personality. He needs to express himself more. You, I'll let you do your intro. It's your intro, so. I mean, outro. You got it. No one even watches the end of the videos anyways. But yeah, still an undefeated episode. Now, you know, pretty good, decent results. Unfortunate to get that draw. But we're gonna have to wait and see if it means we win the season or lose the season. So yeah, stay tuned for that. If you enjoyed, drop a like, subscribe to Johnny's channel, it's in the description. It's really just a link back to my channel. And yeah, peace!